Okay, boys and girls, so we've been talking about those pronouns. And what we want to do is we want to do a little bit of practice with them. So I'm going to make this like a little bit bigger. There we go. So we have our subject pronouns. Those would be pronouns that are in the subject of a sentence. And remember, a pronoun is a word that replaces a noun or a group of nouns. So let's look. We want to replace the blue word or words with a subject pronoun. So we have to decide which pronoun we're going to use. Now, let's start. Who would like to try one? Who would like to read our first sentence and then put a subject pronoun in? Anastasia, would you like to try number one? They like to sketch very good. Who would like to try number two? Avery? Eric and I use water We? We, Aaron and I. There's two of you, so that's we. Very good. Number three, please. Yanni? Franz? has crayons and a coloring book. Very good. There's only one, so he, and it's a boy. Number four, Thomas. What would we replace the glue with? It. It. It will dry out if you leave the cap off. It is the pronoun we would use for an object or an animal, we would use that. Number five, please. Ivy. Miss Harper. Miss um, Harper designs fancy dresses. She designs fancy dresses? She designs fancy dresses. Very good, she's a sheep. Number six, Ethan. Charlie's draws on the driveway with Charles. D. He draws on the driveway with Charlie. Number seven, very good, he. Number seven. Who would like to try number seven? Logan. The sculpture shapes her. The sculptor shapes her clay. Sculptor. It shapes. No. The sculptor shapes her clay shapes her clay. The sculptor shapes her clay. So we have a clue because, okay, the sculptor, we don't know if the, a sculptor can be male or female, right? But then we have a clue in the sentence on the gender of the sculptor because it says the sculptor shapes her clay. So is the sculptor a he or a she? A male or a female? A what? Yeah, so what, what pronoun are we going to call the she sculptor? Shapes she, she shapes her clay. Good, she. So you have to sometimes look for clues. Number eight, please, Juliana. Miles and I cut shapes out of construction papers. Miles and I. How are we going to um, replace Miles and I? We. We. We cut shapes out of construction paper. Very good. Yes. Very good. So now I'm going to give you a paper and you are going to practice on your own. So I'm glad we had this one because we have to look for clues if we're not sure if we are using one that is like a he or she. Now this one where we had like George and his mom, that would be a we, because that can include people of both genders, male and female. Very good, boys and girls.